The last type of question you find in IELTS academic reading is a new type of question. Hey again, Hossein here, and in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to take multiple select questions. Multiple select questions look like multiple choice questions, but there are great differences between them. The first difference is that in multiple choice questions that I taught you in lesson nine in this series, please watch that again to remember. You have four options. But in multiple select questions, you have five options. Difference number two, in multiple choice questions, you have to choose only one correct option. Actually, there is only one correct option. But in multiple select questions, you have to choose two correct options, or there are two correct options. Difference number three, which is the most important one, Multiple choice questions are written in a way that you don't need to read the options beforehand. You only read the question, you go to the passage, and you find the answer to, those, to that question, and you come back to the options, and you try to eliminate the wrong ones, and you choose the correct answer. But multiple select questions are different. If you don't read the options, one, two, three, four, five options, you can't find the answer in the passage. They are made in a way that you have to read the options beforehand. Generally, they are in order, not the options, the questions. For example, question 1 and 2 and then 3 and 4. 1 and 2 are first and then are 3 and 4. They are in order in the passage, but not the options A, B, C, D, E. They are not in order in the passage. Only the questions are in order in the passage. So, you read all the options very carefully and you try to underline the keywords, you try to understand them and you try to come up with paraphrases and you try to memorize them. You go to the passage, you try to locate that question and you try to eliminate them one by one. So, for example, you arrive at number one, at option A. So, if it is mentioned, you select it. If it is not mentioned, you omit it. And then, for example, the next one is D. You select it, you either select it or omit it. And then, for example, option B, select it or omit it. And you move on like that. Now, I'm going to take one of these tests myself to illustrate these points to you. The link is in the description below. Please print it out and take it with me. Or no, just watch me take it. All right, everyone, let's take this test together. Uh, multiple choice more than one answer or multiple select okay this is what I would like to call it multiple select because you have to select more than one option don't forget that these questions are in order uh, first there is one and two in the text and then there is three and four okay these are in order not the options the options are not in order the questions are in order don't forget it the economy, okay, what is that about? We don't know that. Which two advantages are mentioned by the writer of the text? You know, if I don't read the options, I can't understand the question in the text. Which two advantages are mentioned by the writer of the text? They're less likely to be involved in careless accidents. Next slide. They can predict areas that may cause, that may cause trouble in the future. They are able to train younger workers. They can lead deal I'm sorry they can deal uh, with unexpected problems they are more conscientious they are prepared to work for lower salaries they are more skilled in personal relationships okay which two advantages i mentioned my right off the text two advantages two advantages okay okay let me read them again okay Clearly, when older people do have a physical work, their age may affect their productivity. Their productivity, it means they don't have a lot of productivity. Okay, but other skills may increase with age, including many that are crucial for good management, such as the ability to handle people diplomatically. Okay, this is one advantage. Okay, maybe this one. 
Okay, uh, to run a meeting or to spot a problem before it blows. That's it. Uh, which one was that? They can anticipate problems. They can do unexpected. I think that's this one. Okay, this one is for sure. I can say, Peter Hicks said, who coordinates the planning of research suggests that more paid more paid more so this one is admitted paid more uh, because they worth more I think we're asking personal personal relationships or in two years okay what was going to increase with age and link I think that's G, that's not C. Yes, that's not C, that's G. You can even unexpected one, let me make sure. Oh, 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 predict. No, 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 unexpected. Yeah, I was looking for G, so I made a mistake here. That's B, okay? Before it blows up, it means they predict a problem. Yeah, that's it. They can. I think that's B and G. Okay, next one. Which two disadvantages are made by the writer of the text? Actually, these questions are written in a way that you can't find. I'm I'm a little surprised that you can't find the answer in the text without reading the options. But in Cambridge Books 14 onward, 14, 15, 16, the questions are written in a way that you can't find the answers i don't know why it's like that here <laughs> it's kind of weird but i'm going to read them anyway they are too confident of their own skills they may injure themselves they do not stay with the same company for very long the training has been too theoretical they're not as well educated as all of them they have salaries okay exaggerated i mean what they know the few companies that have kept on all the works, not trying to have a judgment, and they have a productivity is good. Productivity, good judgment. So, this is positive productivity and good judgment. Okay, besides, education standards are much better. Okay, so this one is omitted. Uh, this one is omitted. Uh, companies may say that all the workers are not worth training because. They are because they are reaching the end of the working route. In fact, they are not worth training. In fact, they are from time to switch jobs. So frequently, young people switch jobs. Young people switch jobs. Mm -hmm. Young people, not the older people. Training, do not worth training, do not be confident in terms of something has been too theoretical. I think this one is omitted too. And are they offered the worst returns on training? That so frequently that they offer the worst returns on training. Okay, the median age for employer during training is the late for the just training goes mainly to managers. Okay, yeah, that's it. They're paid more. No, 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 paid more because they are worth more. Okay, they demand higher salaries. One of them is F. They demand higher salaries. I think there is a problem here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, there is a problem, and the problem is that I didn't, I didn't read this part. Yeah, I didn't read this part, and I got the answers kind of by chance. And I didn't read this part. Employing younger workers, not older workers. But the new questions are not like this. <laughs> Okay, no problem. These two that I emitted are the answers, not this one. It's C and D, C and E, okay? C and E. So they do not stay, they switch jobs pretty frequently and they are not as educated as others. So the answer, the great answers are, in my opinion, C and E. So one mistake I made here that you shouldn't make is to read everything very carefully, okay? Let's check the answers. B and G. Yes. C and E. Okay. That's it. C and E. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you have gained a lot of value. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. And I will answer them as soon as I can.